Hello, my name is Lonely Wolf, welcoming you back to our guide series in the Long Dark. In this episode, we are going to be discussing how to make progress in the Long Dark. One thing you might be acutely aware of, if it's your second or third run in, is that it is painfully easy to die in the Long Dark. And that's all part of the Long Dark's risk versus reward playstyle and gameplay mechanics. The Long Dark presents you with an option. You start out in the middle of nowhere, or you can even select a region, depending on your difficulty level, with hardly anything in your backpack. Certainly not everything you're going to need to survive. And your only option is to run in circles till you die, or to go and to progress and to survive. Now, it's hard to survive in the long dark when you first start out because you have a basic idea of what you need to do. I need to find things, I need to get to shelter, you know, you, you can think of things that you need and you have your, your stats and your needs that need to be filled, like your thirst and your, your hunger. And at the beginning of the game, it feels like it can be really stressful to attempt to manage, to satisfy everything and to be able to push forward in the game. So this episode seeks to help you start out with a playstyle on a path towards success and surviving in the long dark. So you've just started out, you've landed in whatever region you're starting in on whatever difficulty you're playing. The first thing you need to do is to seek shelter. Now obviously if this is especially, you know, you're newer to the game, your first couple of runs or your very first run, you're not going to have any map knowledge and I recommend you stay away from looking up maps online and using those as a guide. There's a certain charm to the long dark that comes from discovering things for yourself, but obviously you can do as you see fit. I would just caution you that you may find more enjoyment by not doing that. So even if you use maps or even if you don't, how are you going to find shelter? Well, we'll cover why in future episodes why this is counterintuitive, but to begin with, to start out with especially with no map knowledge, you need to find shelter and the easiest way to do that is to stick to lower or ground or the flow of the land. You know, as you play you'll see there are you're, you're around your surroundings you'll have trees, rocks, you'll have inclined slopes, hills and valleys and little vales and things that run through. If you stick to the lower ground, it usually flows towards a point. I mean, you can obviously see areas around you where it might not look like it's going anywhere or hillsides or everything. You can spend all day climbing up hillsides and while they may give you a vantage point to see shelter from, it's going to make it a little bit harder to navigate around. So to begin with, most of the maps have a few central locations on them where there is shelter and they're usually easily found by sticking to roads, um, by areas that follow the flow of the land, etc. So that, that will help you get to shelter. Now that's the first step on making progress is getting to shelter. Once you reach shelter, you need to loot it for all it's worth. There will be containers, filing cabinets, boxes, and even things just laying out on shelves, around cupboards, counters, on top of or under beds, and all around. It's going to take you time to find out where all things can be hidden at. But just keep in mind, you're going to want to look as best you can to see where things might be hiding. You can find clothes and food and fuel and fire starting materials, everything like that. So to make progress, you need to first find shelter. You need to collect all the items that are in that shelter, and then you need to keep moving. In the lower difficulty modes, one region can have more than enough supplies to kit you out, prepare you for survival. But on Stalker, and especially Interloper, it is entirely possible, depending on the region that you're playing in, for there to be next to nothing for you to survive off of. Some examples of this would be Forlorn Muskeg or Desolation Point. In both Stalker and Interloper, your survival there is going to be limited to just a few days before you run out of supplies. So from once you get to your first shelter and loot it, you need to be making a plan and think, all right, where are my needs? What's the weather like outside? Have I seen any hostile wildlife? You're going to need to plan around that. And it's going to be hard at first, but as long as you keep playing, you'll start to get the hang of it, the flow of how things function. And from that first shelter, you need to strike out and find a second shelter or a second location where there's more loot and get, it that, get the loot that is there. And from there, you can push out and push onward. There's all sorts of different things that exist in the wild as well that aren't necessarily found inside buildings. You can find hunter blinds and fishing cabins, little uh, huts out on the ice. These things can have a small amount of supplies in them, sometimes not, and you can find useful things there to help kit you out. But the thing that you need to keep in mind is you have to balance moving, uh, which is a risk, 
and your reward of finding locations and loot. The long dark makes it painfully aware of just how fragile life is. So you're going to need to balance moving too slowly, wherein you might stay at one location too long and bad weather moves in or hostile wildlife surrounds you, what have you, and you can't leave but you're out of supplies. And you'll either be starving yourself or have nowhere to sleep or nothing to drink, uh, no fuel to make a fire. The situations can vary, but if you move too slowly you can in the early game, you can run out of supplies and die due to that. On the flip side, you can also move too fast. You can just jet from shelter to shelter to shelter, just collecting items. And in doing so, you can jeopardize yourself by being stuck out in unpleasant or downright hostile conditions with weather or wildlife, or unprepared for a certain event or set of conditions because you didn't prepare in advance before just leaving. And there's a fine balance to strike, and the lesser the difficulty, the far more forgiving, and the larger the gray area there is in between those two options. But the higher your difficulty goes, even in custom settings, uh, when you can set everything to your own parameters, you can find that that window of opportunity begins to narrow between moving too slow and moving too fast. Just for example, in Interloper, which most of you probably won't be playing, at least right not, not right now, it's really difficult to balance moving too fast with moving too slow. Your starting gear is wholly inadequate for survival in the temperature conditions, regardless of whether the weather is good or bad outside. And hostile wildlife is prevalent from the very beginning. So you have to reach shelter and you have to reach it fast. But the problem is there are a lot of shelters out there that simply aren't warm enough for you. Or there's not enough supplies there. So Interloper makes that window very small. Stalker affords you a better window of opportunity, but it can be limited, especially depending on the region. Voyager, Pilgrim, and custom difficulty modes can all expand or shrink that window to differing degrees. So that's something you've got to keep in mind as you make progress going from shelter to shelter and collecting items, is that if you move too fast, you stand the risk of getting unprepared in a situation. But if you move too slowly and over-prepare, you may find yourself not having the opportunity be it to weather or other circumstances to move out. So that is the biggest concern in making progress in the long dark is balancing those two things. Obviously there can be other factors at play as well. Um, sometimes you need certain tools to advance. Maybe you're going to go forge a knife or a hatchet or some arrowheads or craft a bow or something. And you're going to need to be prepared to take these kind of actions and to make progress you're going to need different sets of tools maybe there's not a tool in the region you're in you're going to have to move to another region to find that item or that implementation to be able to move forward uh, with whatever your goals may be or whatever it is that you need so keeping all of this in mind can be a little overwhelming to begin with and it can be quite taxing to try and balance it especially when you you're not very familiar with the gameplay mechanics or where hostile wildlife can be your how quickly the weather can change but as long as you keep in mind that you need to go from shelter to shelter and you need to collect items and you need to prepare and take stock of what the weather's like outside you'll be setting yourself up for success it does take a little bit of planning it's not a whole lot you know you can say ah, I've reached I've reached such and such a location and I have this on me and I still feel like there's this much time left in the day and I need this but it's starting to get cold outside my clothing's not good enough so if I do set out for this location, maybe I want to bring some firewood with so that in case I get stuck outside in poor weather, I can still keep myself warm until I can reach that shelter, etc. It's just it's different decisions like that that will set you up for success as you're making progress. So that's the most important thing to keep in mind, and I wish you guys all success. It's all going to depend on whether you stick with it or not. It does take time to learn and to get a pattern down. Some people take to it like a duck takes to water and they get that flow moving right from the beginning. Other people it takes trial and error and run after run and death after death to get that flow going. But as long as you continue striving for that goal of balancing moving too slowly versus moving too fast, you will make progress in the long dart. And from there, that's when the game starts to get exciting. That's when you can start to have a lot of fun surviving. As always, I've been Lonely Wolf. I hope this guide has helped you. There's more to come. Just check out the playlist. And stay safe, stay warm out there.